<laughs> Get a life, nerd. Hey everybody, welcome to Nerd Up Level Up, and today we are doing another cosplay tutorial and something that I just learned how to do, which is putting a zipper inside a cosplay. So this is going to be armor. I've been working on it for the TwitchCon cosplay contest, and this is going to be a Drain Eye Paladin, so you'll see me work on this throughout this series. But what's kind of cool about it is it's all one giant piece that can go on easily, and then it zips up really nice. The zipper is pretty hidden, but if you look closely, I have it unzipped part of the way down. You can see the zipper right here. So this zips up uh, nice in a tight seam, and I'm going to teach you how to do it today. So let's get started on that zipper. Things that you will need will be a zipper, and you're going to need a jacket zipper, one that can zip down all the way and disconnect. You don't want one that is pinched at the bottom unless you want to alter the zipper so it can separate into two pieces. So you're going to want to make sure your, your zipper can go into two pieces. So we need a zipper and we need two wide pieces of foam that will cover the edge of the zipper and have some room left over. So about twice as wide as your zipper. So two of those, one for each side of the zipper. And then this is going to replicate uh, two pieces of your cosplay, whether it's a wrist bracer or whether it is a corset coming together like the piece I showed you, but you'll need two pieces of whatever it is. So those, and then you will need a contact cement. A lot of people use barge. I happen to like weldwood either. It doesn't really matter. The only one that I found that I don't like is like the Elmer's school glue type of contact cement. It's not strong enough and it gets really sticky and very tacky. So first step, we are going to want to get our pieces together and get them all prepped. I want to note that the zipper is too long, but I don't want to cut it down and damage it. Expensive zippers are, I mean, sorry, long zippers are expensive and can be hard to come by. I actually took this one from a jacket and I really like it, so I want to keep the length. So just ignore the fact that I'm working with a long zipper today. The technique will still be the same. So step one is going to be making sure that your zipper is long enough. And of course, ours is long enough, but you're going to want to double check. Also make sure your zipper works and will zip up and down. Step two will be to coat both sides of your zipper with glue. I am going to mark on the zipper just because uh, the zipper's too long, um, how far up I want the glue to go. Now the zipper is going to set inside your armor. You don't want it to be too long. So I recommend moving the zipper up about a quarter of an inch and having it end about a quarter of an inch from the top. So I'm gonna mark right here. And same on this side. We wanna start a quarter of an inch up and end a quarter of an inch from the top. So next, we're going to apply the glue to both sides of the zipper. And this is going to be the side that is going to be sticking to the foam. So you'll need to decide ahead of time if your zipper will be showing from the front where it will be visible or if it will be hidden on the inside. On the chest plate that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video, that has the zipper hidden on the inside. And I have to install a pull tab on the zipper to make sure I can pull it up. Today, we'll just be making the zipper be visible but you can choose what you'd like to do, either one. After the glue is on both sides, you're going to want to make sure that the sides of your foam are whatever the outside or the inside is. I'll mark this with an O for this is the outside. You would know because you'd have trim on it uh, inside. You won't mark your own this way. This is just so that we know. So this is the inside. We're gonna want the zipper to go right here. So this is where we'll put the glue. Same with this one. So I pre-mark where the glue is gonna go so I don't overuse the glue. Since contact cement only works when both sides have dried, we want to apply the glue to everything that we're going to be attaching the zipper to ahead of time. So that way it has time to dry. Cure time for rubber cement is approximately a minute, depending on your climate. 
Um, some more moist climates uh, take longer for the glute to dry, and of course drier climates it'll dry faster. Just know your area and how long it takes the glute to dry. I would not encourage accelerating the glue using a heat gun. Uh, I know it's a common practice, but I feel like the glue dries at the at similar consistencies if you let it dry at its own pace. If you use a heat gun, you can dry out some sections faster than others. So just be patient, it really doesn't take very long. Once it is dry, you can then use your marks to place the foam over the zipper. You can use the edge of a zipper as a guide for how close to put the foam. On my chest piece I showed earlier, I put the foam and overlaid it much farther over the zipper because I was trying to have a hidden edge, but it should look something like this. We'll press that and make sure that the foam is has a nice joined edge. We'll repeat that on the other side. So sticky glue side to sticky zipper side. This one will be a little bit trickier because the edge of the zipper is right here. Now this is a large zipper. You can look for one that doesn't have one quite so large. And if you're using something like a wrist bracer, you're gonna want a smaller zipper. But this will show up better on YouTube so you guys can see. So line that up. Using the edge of the plastic zipper, you can mark Put that right up to the edge of the foam. Just like that. Now same as the other piece, just apply pressure along the edge of the foam. So after you have this step done, you want to do one more step because just the contact glue alone is not enough to make the zipper stay. You'll find that your zipper will eventually pull away from your foam. So the last step is to flip this over, flip this piece over, and this is where your skinny, cheap craft foam comes in. I just got this craft foam in the supply section at Walmart. You can get it at any store you can even get it at like a grocery store most of the time in an office aisle you'll see this like kinder i call it like kindergartner foam but it is just a really cheap foam and it usually comes in bright colors i use tnt cosplay foam for everything but they do not make this thin of foam so again all my foam is from tnt cosplay supply i love their foam you can find the link to their foam in my description but for this type of thing, I prefer craft foam. So make a thin layer on each of these pieces. Apply evenly and on all of the edges. Then on your zipper, we want to apply it to the back of the zipper. But then we also want to apply it a little bit on top of the foam next to it because this foam strip, the orange one that I'm using, is wider than the zipper. So we're going to have to come out about, I'll mark on this one so you can see, we're going to need the foam, uh, the glue to come out an inch, an inch from the edge of the zipper because these are one inch strips. So you'll apply to the zipper and also to the foam. After it's applied, let it dry. Make sure both sides are completely dry, meaning nothing is shiny. Glue that is not dry looks like this. Super, super shiny. You can see that when it catches the light. And then we'll wait and I'll show you what glue looks like when it's totally dry. Glue when it's dry it will look like this. We're not catching the light on it. It's completely matte. Um, one heavy spot here is catching a little bit of light, but that's just because I put the glue heavier. You can see everywhere else is nice and dull. So this is ready to go. Take your foam strip, glue side down, match it up straight up to the edge of the zipper. Well, actually, 
match it up a little bit away from the zipper just so that there's room for the zipper to slide up. Press down and make sure we're getting a nice tight bond. This won't be seen, so it doesn't matter what color of craft foam you use. However, if it makes you feel better, you can paint this so that it's not so bright. Same with the other side. Push tightly, make sure there is a very good bond. I got a little too close at the end. As long as you just did it, don't worry. You can peel it up and push it back down. And this is ready to go immediately, which is amazing. Okay, so after those are glued together, it's just simple from here. All you do is insert one side of the zipper into the other, much like you've probably done a million times before on your pants or jackets. And then all you do is just simply zip it together. And there we have it, uh, easy piece to put together. You can do this on all sorts of armor. And then one thing that I like to do is, and I'll be doing it on the chest piece I showed you earlier, is adding brackets that will be faux brackets that will, I will be attaching with um, magnets. And these will just make it look like it's attached together this way without having the buckling that sometimes happens. So I'll actually zip the chest piece on myself and then I'll use these, which you can get at Joann's. I got these on clearance, so they were only like a dollar fifty a piece, which is really nice. So there's all sorts of things that you can do um, with your newfound zipper piece. So guys, I hope this video made sense to you. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Until then, keep creating. I hope I can keep inspiring and good luck to you all. <laughs> Get a life, nerd.